Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, April 18th, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from San Francisco, California. Cheating in computer games is probably about as old as computer games themselves and, uh, well, uh, I would think probably one of the sort of oldest hacking techniques. So no surprise that there is an ongoing battle between game manufacturers who try to limit cheating and players who try to cheat. The latest technique apparently being employed by games is to monitor other processes that are running on the system. One game doing this apparently is Guild Wars. It monitors for a number of different processes that are typically associated with cheats. Now, a lot of gamers are taking objection here that there's an invasion in their privacy to actually catalog processes that are not directly related to Guild Wars. What's not really clear here is if these process lists are being sent back to Guild Wars or if they're just being analyzed locally. And Tuesday was the last day in the United States where individuals were able to file their income tax returns. Well, it turns out the Internal Revenue Service or the IRS was not really ready for the volume of returns being filed last minute, which resulted in many of their systems not responding to requests. In particular, it appears the payment part of the process was bottlenecked. Now, the IRS took the somewhat unprecedented step to allow for an additional day to file income tax returns in order to make up for these delays. At this point, there is no indication that this was related to any kind of attack. It was really just an availability issue and caused by the large number of last minute filers. Of course, over the last few years, the IRS has pushed more and more filers to file taxes online and relies less and less on paper returns. And one of the trends I have talked about a couple times already this year is the trend sort of to crypto coin miners. Now, one notable indicator of this trend is the Zhao Ba ransomware, which actually now just essentially added a crypto coin miner to its payload. Now, they did, however, not really sort of remove the ransomware part. Instead, the ransomware part is now just corrupting your files and making them irrecoverable. So no real win here for the victim because you can't even pay anymore to get your files back. Now, the crypto coin miner itself isn't really implemented all that well either. In most crypto coin miner cases that sort of infect clients like this, we do have crypto coin miners running on the system itself. Instead, in this case, it just injects the Coinbase JavaScript miner into HTML files it finds on the system. This may work okay if it actually hits a web server, but then again, that corruption part of the same part or a piece of software may actually cause the system to crash. So not really sure how valuable this is. But this wouldn't be the first time where an attacker does deploy an exploit that actually just doesn't work. And F5 patched a number of vulnerabilities in its big IP load balancer. And now most of these vulnerabilities are denial of service vulnerabilities. There are a couple that are a little bit more interesting. For example, one that's CVE 2017-6156. This would allow a user that's authenticated through the phase one of the IPsec negotiation to actually impersonate other users. So this user would need some valid credentials, but then they could assume other users' identities. This only works if you're using wildcard IPsec tunnel endpoints. The second interesting vulnerability is approach escalation vulnerability. So similar somewhat to this IPsec vulnerability in that some of the privilege restrictions aren't enforced correctly. So users may be able to execute commands that they are not supposed to execute. And then finally, if you are actually using the IP intelligence subscription with your big IP device, well, uh, the 
a sales certificate of the server delivering that feed is not properly validated, so an attacker could potentially impersonate that service. I think the IPsec vulnerability probably has some potential. The others I wouldn't really worry too much about. Patch as you get around to it. Well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening. And don't forget 11.15 on Wednesday. Today will be our panel at the RSA conference in the Moscone West on the third floor. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.